Hello everyone, Helen here. Thanks for coming to join me today. Um, hope you're doing all right. Oh, it hardly seems any time at all since I was talking to you last week. Goodness to me, how the time goes by. And, and I'm thinking that making these podcasts uh, does take up quite a bit of my time. I'm always thinking about them. And and yet at the moment, I, I really want to carry on doing weekly podcasts, but I'm giving myself permission to not worry if they're really quite short and uh, I'd rather pop in every week and have a short one and um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm going to do. So I think today's will be a little bit shorter than usual, not that my podcasts are ever that long, they're never longer than about half an hour, uh, but you know, I think I'm not going to worry if they're a little bit shorter. I'm just here to say hello and you know, chat about something or other that I've been up to. And today I'm going to just talk about two finished projects and then we're going to go outside. Yep. So, first finished project, and this is one that I showed you last time, which was nearly finished, and that is my gorgeous doll here, who's called Pearl, and who is going to be the mascot for our new camper van exciting thing that happened recently to us that we acquired this camper van uh, so yeah so here she is finished I think when I showed her last time she did have a poncho and she did have a top on um, well the top was actually half of the dress and and she had underwear see she's got her underwear on but uh, she now has has this dress and she has a pair of boots as well and uh, so I made her from a book by Kerry Lord called um, Edward's Crochet Doll Emporium, uh, which is a really lovely book. And I'm so pleased with how this doll has turned out. Uh, but when I came to make the T-shirt I was making originally from the book, I, I made it and I just couldn't get it on. And I looked carefully in the pattern book to make sure that I'd, uh, you know, that I'd use the right size hook. You didn't have to use thicker yarn or a or a thicker hook or anything. But no, no, it seemed it was okay. And I did spot that it said the clothes are designed to come up over the legs, up that way. But I couldn't get them over her body even. Uh, so, so I had to abandon that and start again. So. So what I did was was just my own pattern and I looked at the number of stitches I had around the body and I just worked out a pattern for myself. So first of all I did it as a top uh, with little sleeves and I incorporated a, a like an opening at the back down oh more than half of the top and I've put buttons on it and so that went on no problem at all and then I thought I'd make her a skirt and uh, yeah again the skirt that was in the uh, in the book it didn't seem like it was going to be wide enough at the top I don't know I mean maybe you've made something out of this book and you had no problem I don't know why I had a problem with it really anyway I just decided to make my own skirt pattern because I wanted it to look like a granny stitch you know, because she is meant to be a kind of a hippie-ish in character. And when I put the skirt on, I decided actually I was going to make it into a dress. And so I just sewed it on on the other side to make it into a dress. And I'm really, really pleased with it. So I've got this uh, little pico edging that matches her poncho. And then I made the boots and the boots uh, from the, the pattern in the book work was absolutely fine. They're very tough to get on. So I think if if you are making this doll for a child and, you know, I think there would, if it was a young child, they would have great difficulty in getting the clothes on, well, certainly the boots on and off. Um, but the good thing is that I'm not likely to lose the boots. So there she is finished. I've decided not to make her a hat because I love her hair so much and I don't really want to cover it at all. I used Scapia's Stone Washed throughout. And I am really, really pleased with with the overall effect. And she's stuffed with 100% uh, wool 
um, fibre rather than mostly I use the um, synthetic toy stuffing but I tried out a while ago some of the firmer 100% wool stuffing for something and I really liked it like the feel that it gives it it gives um, a heavier feel to the doll so she's very huggable uh, so there she is and she is going to be coming on a few adventures with us in the camper van and in fact she's already had her first trip which I'm going to talk about in a bit but so we'll sit sit you sit down there for a moment so my other finished project is one that I hadn't even started when I spoke to you a week ago and uh, and this is another crochet toy uh, and it's very fortuitous that I've made this. I've been testing the pattern for the lovely lady Katie whose Instagram account I actually mentioned last week and I mentioned it not knowing that I might be testing a pattern for her um, you know a couple of days later. So yeah so she's made this pattern for a little dog He's called Peanut Pup and he's absolutely adorable. Uh, Katie of at Beanie Knits on Instagram. You must go to her account if you like little things like this. Uh, she does knitted and crocheted little characters and I just love their little stories, that the things that they do. They're, they're so, so cute and lovely. Anyway, so this, I think this is... I think she, I'm right in saying that it's going to be her first published pattern when it when it comes out. Um, anyway, I was delighted that she asked me to test out her pattern, and it was it was a very very well written pattern. So I can when it does come out, if you like doing this kind of thing, uh, then I can highly recommend it. Katie has just definitely got a style of her own. So you you look at her toys and you think yes yes you look at this and think that's oh, that that's that's her style and I think it really is just finished off so nicely by by the hat and the and the little bag and um, it was very very straightforward to make uh, might might be tricky for an absolute beginner maybe I don't know because the it's always when you get to make little arms and legs and you haven't got many stitches in your round it can be a bit fiddly but I mean even if you are a beginner just going slowly and carefully and definitely making use of a stitch marker so that you know where the end of each each round is um, that definitely helps um, but the reason that I said it was fortuitous that, that I made this little dog um, and that is because when, when I made Pearl, the doll, I decided that she, she needed to have a friend and I thought rather than another doll, uh, it would be nice if she had a dog. So this is going to be Pearl's dog and I've called him Dean. Now I think you need to be a certain age to understand why I might call him Dean. So have, it, have you guessed? <laughs> So I've got Pearl and Dean. <laughs> so I think you need to have been a cinema goer some years ago when before the the feature film you'll get some adverts and they were always preceded by the the kind of the intro of the advertising company which is called Pearl and Dean. Uh, I'm not going to sing you the, uh, the, the theme music <laughs> uh, but You'll know what I mean if you could. Anyway, so so here we have Pearl and Dean, and they are going to have lots and lots of adventures together, hopefully. But uh, when we went out in the camper van the other day, uh, Dean wasn't made, so it, it was just Pearl who uh, who was was out with us. So you so just sit down there, Dean. Uh, so yeah, so I, I'm just gonna take you out really. So first of all, I'm going to uh, just take you into my passenger seat of the camper van and you're going to come on a little bit of the drive that we did. Uh, so I've never done this before, videoed from the front of a vehicle. I've seen lots of other people do it and I always find it quite mesmerising as long as I haven't speeded it up. 
and then it then you can feel a bit sick uh, if you're going too fast but just normal speed going along I, I rather like watching those and of course in my podcast I, I wouldn't ever show you anything that I didn't like watching myself so so hopefully you enjoy it and so we we decided to go out just for a day out uh, we haven't been overnight in the camper van yet we're not quite fully equipped um, but we went off not really far from where we live we went off into Weirdale and there's then an area of moorland there called the North Pennines uh, and it's it's really it's, it's wild and it's it's just it's beautiful in its wildness I think you say there's no sort of major features that stand out in the landscape or anything it's just open and wild and covered in heather although the heather is not quite in flower you can see all the little buds waiting to burst forth and make everywhere look purpley pink uh, but it hadn't, hadn't quite come out when we, when we were there. So, yeah, so first of all, we're going to go for a drive. So off we go. So I hope you've enjoyed that little drive out into the countryside and possibly it was familiar to you if you live in the UK and you've uh, been in, in this area but uh, for lots of you I know it'll be uh, very different to where you live and I love that in other people's podcasts I love seeing where they live and maybe how the houses look a little bit different or just how different the countryside is so Anyway, well, when we got there, we, we found somewhere to, to stop and we went for a really nice walk. Well, when I say nice, well, it was a nice walk because it was just lovely to be out, but it was really, really windy. And my video doesn't really show, even when I show the plants moving a lot, it doesn't really show how uh, windy it was. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it was really windy. We felt quite battered and we were quite pleased when we got back after our walk into our camper van and we parked it so that we were uh, not having the wind blowing in and had the side open and then we had a really really nice picnic. So come along with me for a little walk and, and a picnic in the camper van. Thank you.
And as you saw there, of course, I took a bit of crochet with me as well. And that's the blanket. The blanket that I was working on there is, is the one that's going to be for the camper van. It's going to be a big rainbow. And I uh, showed you that last time and I'll show you again when I've got a bit further on. I'm in the yellows now, so I'm very happy with the, how that one's working out. But anyway, I think that's it for today. So just, just a little, little podcast this week, but I will be back again next week. So until then, keep busy, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.